never stopped creating. Uh, to me, art is a delicious journey of escapism where I get to imagine retro-futuristic civilizations or electric alien goddesses. It's a postmodern world where nothing is off limits and I can explore the impossible and the imagined. Firstly, my art explores confronting topics surrounding humanity, technology, philosophy and science, hopefully providing a space for discussion and introspection. Pre-art ritual. Tea. Satanic styled candles set up all around my desk, the lights dimmed, having some strange rocks and minerals on my desk and some objects that I've acquired from around the house such as doorknobs or bars of soap or, you know, letters, mail, I, I steal bills. Um, strange things they give me ideas and i usually gather the babies not my own the the plastic babies and i line them up so they can observe my creations and give me ideas so it's a mutual friendship i am most inspired by books and movies and going outside and creating things with sticks and leaves and looking up at the sky and looking at the stars or tracking satellites my work uniform, well, I work from home so there's no one to impress, so all I'm going to say is pyjamas. I have a pair for every single occasion and they make me work harder, longer, smarter and warmer. So that's my business advice. Um, so I grew up in a little village called Bundanoon and when I say a village, I mean a village. Three shops, Main Street, nothing else. We had no car, no computer, no phone. Just a record player, a TV, our lights and our kitchen utensils. It was amazing. Um, I absolutely loved it there. I feel that's where I got a lot of my ideas about technology and science and evolution and humanity. And it definitely has stuck with me through all of my work since then. When I'm not creating, I am a film connoisseur, a fashion icon and I am usually laughing. I think that would be my favourite pastime. Uh, but I also do things like Star Watch. I track satellites and I collect rocks and I go on secluded walks in the bush to get ideas. So if anyone knows me in real life, they know that I have the most horrendous luck and the most off kilter stories. <laughs> um, something always seems to happen to me. I'm just one of those people. Um, Anyway, I have a list here of some of the things that have happened to me or some of the things I've encountered. Uh, the list goes on. Um, <laughs> bull run, elephant and monkey attack, gunpowder bombs, walking into a satanic cult by accident, really was by accident, uh, putting leashes on cicadas, that was, that was great. Um, professional elf, that was my career.